this is Stampy, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Zelda A Breath of the Wild. Did I say that right? I kind of just blurred all the words together there. Welcome to Zelda <laughs> Blah Anyway, welcome back. I am here in uh, Hatino Village. I am sporting my brand new outfit. Everyone calm down. I know I look magnificent, but... Yeah, there we go. Let's uh, let's carry on. Now we've we've spent some time admiring Link to, to start the the episode. It's time to to move on. Everyone keeps saying about how good looking Link is in this game. Like that's been like a big topic. Just like yeah, like Link looks really nice in this game. That's what a lot of people have been saying. <laughs> Not something that I particularly noticed until everyone else started saying about it. But you know what? I can't argue. And with that outfit, I think it's especially so. And oh, speaking of outfits, it looks like there might be a um. Uh, an armor shop here. Let's uh, let's go and see what they they have for for sale then. So uh, Hylian tunic that does three. I think that's exactly what I've got already. That's just uh, this one, isn't it? Yeah, that's exactly the the same there. Um, Hylian hood. Well, what do we have back here? What's the 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 special armor then? Soldier's armor. So that uh, gives you four. I think what I have at the moment gives me. Um, oh, does it say fifteen? Oh, no, no, it gives me five. It gives me five protection. So, uh, oh, this isn't as good as what I've got, but what does it do? Uh, praises armor for superior defense made from sturdy plates. So the thing is, I have upgraded my armor. That's the, the thing you got to remember, is that I went to the, the great um, uh, fairy fountain and uh, I was able to, to upgrade it. So I kind of made it stronger than it would otherwise have been. So uh, that kind of makes it like unfairly good, I guess, when compared to all of the, the other things. And oh, we got some uh, some uh, some fresh milk here as well. Uh, another staple uh, from Zelda games. Oh, a customer. I didn't even hear you come in. Sorry about that. I trust everything is as I left it. Yes, everything's fine. Don't you worry about that. Right, what do we have for, for sale then? So fresh milk uh, comes from Hatino cows uh, and white goats kept in the village. It's delicious on its own, but can also be used as an ingredient in soups and stews. Uh, let's go and buy. Let's buy a couple of them. Uh, why not? It's good to, to have some uh, some milk and anything else. Well, actually, I don't want to get too much food because I've kind of filled up my, my pockets with all of the, the food I can carry. Like, I can't cook anything new. So let's not worry about buying any more ingredients uh, until I've done uh, a little bit more cooking and uh, and freed up some room. Let's uh, instead go and explore the, the town. I've never uh, been into the, the town this far. I only arrived during the, the last episode. And oh, no, something's gone wrong. Someone needs their help of a strapping young man, Link, to, to come and help them, uh, them out. Checking everyone out today, too. They're checking. Just never stops. Ever stayed at the Tonpu Inn? Uh, yep. Yeah. Oh, no, no, I haven't. Makes no difference to me, but I'm supposed to check out everyone who comes into town. Okay. Thought so. I know things have been peaceful recently, but the outside world is still pretty dangerous, yeah? So I gotta check and make sure if any beauties, uh, I mean suspicious folks have come around here. <laughs> beauties? <sighs> if you're lucky enough to stay in the Tonpu Inn, you'll see what I mean. Say hello to Primer for me if you do. Not that she ever knows who I am. This is tough. I have to give her something. What kind of gift do you think Prima at Tonpu Inn would want? Just take a guess. It's not for me, you understand. It's for, um, my buddy's friend. Ah, a gift for my beloved. Can I, like, recommend something? Yeah. What is it? Uh, do you know Prima? Uh -huh. That's Miss Prima to you. You ever been to the inn here? Prima is the clerk. Okay, so should we go and speak? Okay, so I guess we go speak to, to, to her. And then we go and um, kind of find out what she wants. And then we can go and tell our, our friend there. So is, is this her here? It is. Good morning. Welcome to Tonpu Inn. A regular bed is 20 rupees. Or if you're looking for something more relaxing and restorative, my for restorative for your mind and body experience, you can have one of our extra soft downy beds for 40 rupees. Um, I don't really want a bed. I just want to know what, what she likes. Come back again soon. Hmm. What do you reckon she wants? There's not any clue. She's got a flower here. She's got a a yellow flower. Is that a clue for what she might want? Maybe I need her to, to stay at the, the inn. And then she's going to reveal what she wants. Well, let's just have a little look around and see if there are any clues. Ah, maybe a diary. 
A diary would be a good way to, to work out what she wants. I could just read her diary. Has she got a diary around here? Don't mind me, love, by the way. Just jumping over the furniture, going a bit crazy. Any diaries? Any diaries? Any diaries in here? Any diaries? I guess they wouldn't be in the, the guest rooms. Any diaries? Any diaries? There's a pot lid, but no diaries. Let's uh, let's stay and just see if anything happens. I'm oh, sorry. I just I don't mean to, to do that. Welcome to Ton Poo Inn. Regular bed of 20 rupees, or if you look blah, 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 extra soft. Oh, let's just stay in a regular bed then. And then let's wake up in the, the morning and let's just see. Let's just see if she reveals any information about what kind of gifts she would like to, to, to have. Uh, if not, we can just go and speak to the, the guy outside and say that we did stay there. And I don't know, maybe that's going to, to help us uh, in some way. Good morning. Did you sleep well? Come back again soon. Really? No, no clues about she wants, uh, what she wants as a present. I just wasted 20 rupees for absolute nothing then. <laughs> well, let's go and speak to, to this guy then. Checking everyone out today. Doing blah, 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 blah. Checking out. There's a weird suspicious folks around there, so I gotta check everyone who ma to make sure that no one dangerous gets through. I'm volunteering my own time because it's important service for the village. You need anything else? Uh, let's ask about Prima again. Blah, 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 blah. Yep, she's in there. It's tough. I need to give her something. Um, okay, let's let's just see what it says on, on this menu. Uh, a friend of Manny wants to anything, blah, blah. All you have to do is ask Prima what she loves most. Well, how do I ask her that? That didn't come up as an option. I just need to, to ask her what she wants most, but... All she said about was, do you want her to, to sleep here? <laughs> it didn't give me a chance to say anything else. Welcome to the the inn. Yeah, I don't want to stay. What do you what do you want most? Um, may, maybe if I stay in a soft bed, is that going to make any difference? When do you want to be woken up? Uh, let's just say noon, in case that makes any difference. It says all I need to do is ask her what she wants, but how do I ask her what she wants? Like that's not one of the the options that I have to to say. Most peculiar. It does say that I need to ask her though, so I don't think it's a diary or anything. Let's see if she says anything different here this time. You look very well rested. Come back again soon. What do you want? Maybe if I just say I don't want to, to stay. Uh, ah! Ah, aha! Now I have some more options. I probably shouldn't be over the other side of the, the counter. What do you like? It's a bit of a weird question. Why is he asking? Whatever, I'll just say something random. I'll tell you something that I really like. Crickets. It's my dream to have my own collection of a hundred restless crickets. As if. Well, I don't really believe her. Um, let's just say it, this place is great. Oh, thank you for being so kind. If you would like a room, we can work that out. If you could just step to the other side of the counter. <laughs> ah, okay. So maybe I can ask her different things from this side of the, the counter. Let's ask what she likes again. What is the deal here? Why so persistent? I'll tell you something that I really like is crickets. Uh, yeah, she's going on about the, the crickets. She doesn't actually want crickets, though. I'm just worried if I if I ask him this. Oh, she's just going to say crickets. Let me ask her a few more times. And let's see if she ends up saying something different. No, it looks like she's just going to keep asking for a hundred <laughs> restless crickets. Right. Well, let's go and tell our friend outside. Like, I know it's not the <laughs> what she actually wants, but I don't think we have uh, any other options here. So, right. Blah, 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 blah. I talk to her. What? Prima told you what she wants. Prima never even talks to me. <clears throat> I mean, that's cool. That's cool. Whatever. So then, what is it? She wants a hundred restless crickets. Prima wants restless crickets and 100 of them. Ha ha ha. What a small world. I love restless crickets. I'm a connoisseur of them. <laughs> I think that's what the word means. But catching a hundred of them is going to be tough. Do you think you could help me get started on those? How about you get me ten of them? I'll get you something nice for your trouble. Okay, well, this has turned to a weird mission. <laughs> oh, what a coincidence. I love restless crickets. <laughs> do, I, do I have any? Do I have any crickets? I don't know if I have any any crickets on me already. Um, the thing is, if I do, I've probably made them into like a... Oh, here we go. Here's a restless cricket. A very energetic cricket. Uh, cook ones of us. Right. Remind me not to, to cook them, because I wasn't going to end up eating them, but I need them all for a uh, for a mission. So probably shouldn't end up uh, and, uh, eating them, because, yeah, I want to, to solve that, that mission. Right then, let's go up to the, the top of the hill. There seem to be 
uh, some other houses all the, the way up here. And if you remember, I am here for a mission. I am supposed to be uh, tracking something down in uh, particular, so going around and looking for restless crickets probably uh, isn't the, the best use of my time while I'm here. It uh, looks like there's uh, a few windmills uh, around the, the area here. Where was the, um, the, there was like one house that seemed to be higher up than the, the rest of the, the village, and there's, there's a thing over there. I'm gonna go and have a look at that in a, in a second, and then, yeah, there's the house at the top there. So let's go and check out this place here, and then let's go all the way to the, the top of the house there, there's gotta be something important up there. You wouldn't have a big house at the top of the hill if there wasn't gonna be something important of the, in there, so, uh, yeah, we can go and check that out, and I guess on my way, I should start looking out for, oh, is this a cricket? Oh no, it's a, it's a rusty broadsword. <laughs> not a, uh, not a cricket, but might as well go and grab it anyway. But what is this thing? Hmm, there's like a blue flame here. I wonder if I can use a torch on this blue flame? Let's go and get the, the torch out. And ah, I have a blue flame. Is there anything I can do? Oh, can I light these lanterns with it? I can. Okay, are there, are there any more? So I saw there's one over here. I don't know, I think the... The torch just went out then and ah, there's some up there as well. Well, this is weird. Not seen one of these things before. There we go. I was able to, to light this uh this again. So the torches last forever as long as you don't switch it away from them. Uh, I think I tried to, to sprint and that was the, the thing that put the, the torch out last time. And it looks like there's another one of these up here. I wonder if I light them or if it does something. I don't know if maybe I'm supposed to be doing this at night time though, because you can't really see them glowing very well in the the daytime. But uh, there we go. That's uh, a few of them, a uh, few of them lit. And yeah, look, if you go to to sprint, uh, he puts the the torch away and it puts it out. Uh, but let's just go and sprint back to the 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 start here and uh, yeah, try and light the others. It's got to do something. There's no way they'd have all of these things here and not have it do something. I'm assuming so, unless there's there's something else I'm supposed to to do that I'm missing out on. But anyway, let's go and do this and light this one over here. I think this might be the, the final one. It's the only one, well, the last one I can see in the, the immediate area. And ah, right, we've got ourselves a bit of a, of a problem here, don't we? Because I need to get the torch across. See, I could throw the, the torch, but gosh, I wonder if I could do that and if it will stay lit at all. Uh, oh, it did. The torch stayed lit. There we go. <laughs> I was a little bit worried about what I was supposed to, to do there. Okay, is that them all lit now? I think that might be them, them all lit up, but nothing, nothing seems to have happened yet. Unless there are any more of them that are missing. Is that, oh, I think there might be one up the, the hill there as well. Let's, okay, let, let's go and head up the, the hill there and see if there are more of these that I'm supposed to like. I don't know if this is the thing I'm supposed to be doing, by the way. <laughs> I don't know, maybe these, these torches are just something that get lit up at night time. And oh, was it flashing like that before? I think I think it was. So yeah, let's uh, let's go and try and light the one up the hill. And if that doesn't do anything, uh, let's not worry about it uh, too much for for now. Seeing as it's really not the the kind of thing that I should be going after and uh, trying to to do anyway. And I'm also looking in the the bottom right hand corner, and it shows what the the weather is going to to be like in the the future. And it's cloudy at the moment, but it is going to to be rainy a little bit later on. It's quite windy as well, and I'm kind of scared that this thing's going to to blow up. So so far so good, but. I don't even know whether this is actually anything I'm supposed to, to be doing at all. Like, do these go all the way through town? Or is it just up on the, the hill? I can't see any down there. Let's go up here. Let's go and light these. Let's just go and see if there's any more up here. Seeing as we're heading up this way to, to get to the big house on the, the hill. Anyway, I might as well go and start lighting these up. Even if it doesn't do anything. It looks quite cool with the, the little blue glowing lights all the same. And everyone's just singing here. Everyone's just singing just like all of the, the time. I'm getting quite hot as well. You can see the... um. The, the heat meter is kind of gradually going up as I, as I do this. Oh, it's because I'm holding the, the torch, isn't it? I think that might be a good way if I get to more of the, the cold places, like the, the big mountain near here. Maybe I could just go around holding a, a torch to, to keep me uh, nicely heated up would be a, a smart idea. And uh, there seems to be a few more. It looks like we're kind of doing a, a circle of them almost. It looks like there's one here. Is this the last one? Has anything happened down there? Nothing that I can I can notice and... I can't see any more of the, the, the little places that I need to light up anywhere around here. And has anything happened on the, the, the podium over there? I don't think it has. So unless I've, I've missed one, I think that should be them all lit up. I don't know. Oh, there's one over there. Did I did I miss? Oh, there's, there's loads over there. Have those blown out? 
Or did I just not like those ones? I think I just didn't see these ones. Okay, this is good though, because I was worried that just nothing was going to, to happen. And nothing may still happen, but I feel I still feel like there's a, an opportunity something might happen. But I don't know, there's a there's a lot more of these than I first thought, and they've gone a little bit wider. Like if they were all right in the, the area, I would be pretty certain that they were connected. But this one's a pretty distant, uh, good distance away. And oh, it's saved. Did you see the game just saved then? I guess that's a pretty good sign. Let's just go and run back over there and uh, see if uh, if anything uh, has happened. I can always go and uh, and relight the the torch from the ones I've seen before, but I want to do this fast because uh, it is about to, to start raining soon. So <laughs> all of these all of these things I've lit my go and oh no, look, there's another one down there as well. Ah, I didn't see uh, I didn't see that one. It looks like this uh, this isn't them all lit. This better do something, by the way. This better not all be for for absolute nothing. There's a good chance it is all for absolute nothing. But I feel like we've we've come this far. We've kind of committed to uh, to to trying to to light these all. So can I light it from here? There we go. Yep, I can light it from from here. And there seems to be at least two down here in this direction and a whole load of uh, of scarecrows around the place as well. And oh no, look, they do go all the way down to to town. Am I supposed to light all of these up? It does make like, if you listen, it makes a little weird sound when I do actually light them. So I don't know, maybe maybe I am supposed to. No, I could have grabbed that frog then. I was too slow. I was too slow to, to react, but I could have grabbed the, the frog. And oh yeah, it looks like they do go into to town. Are there any more down that way? I can't see any more down the, the street in that direction, uh, but there are a, a few more here that I that I missed earlier, and he's still grumbling. He's still after his uh, his restless crickets by the, the sound of things. Uh, right, that's uh, another one lit there. Hopefully all the, the ones I lit before have have stayed lit. But let's just go and have another look around, and uh, oh, he seems to be very impressed by me running around with the, the torch. And so if nothing's happened there now, seeing as it's about to, to rain anyway, I think that's going to be just a, a good time for me to, to give up and say, okay, I don't think anything's going to, to happen. Anything going on over there? Nope, everything seems to, to be the, the way it is. Feel free to, to let me know in the, the comments, by the way, if you kind of know what what I'm supposed to do with them. If anything, feel free to, to let me know. I don't know if I just missed one or whether... I don't know. It just seemed it just seemed like a likely thing for for me to do. But anyway, let's uh, <laughs> let's keep moving, then, shall we? Let's try to to not get distracted and let's go up to the the big house on the the top of the hill. I think uh, going up this path uh, might be the the quickest way to to get up there. I also don't exactly know how the um oh oh there's another one here actually. Oh no, it's gonna rain. It's gonna rain. I think I think this is oh no. I think this is gonna put my my torch out. Oh no, there's oh yeah, look, I can't do it. I can't do it anymore. Okay, so I guess that's going to be the, the end of this. But it looks like the the ones I already have down there, it looks like at least they're not going out. So if this is the right thing, at least I can kind of just carry on and uh, continue lighting the, the rest of these. But yeah, horses. What's the deal with horses? So once you register them, you can call them. But every time I call for one of my horses, it can never hear me. So do I need to stay close to my horse? I don't know, because in like past Zelda games, like whenever you just make a... Like, you call for your horse, it kind of just shows up no matter where you are. And so it seems like on this game, maybe maybe the horse does need to, to be close up to, to you. And oh, look, these go all the way up to the, the top up here. Maybe these are connected to the, the house. What does this say? Uh, hey, Tino, ancient tech lab, mind the lanterns. Ah, okay. I, th I think maybe it's something to, to do with this house. I think this is where I'm supposed to go. I think this is where I was supposed to go for my, my mission anyway. So, uh, yeah, showing up here is probably uh, going to be a, a good thing to, to do anyway. Uh, so, yeah, let's uh, see who, if anyone's inside. Is that a frog? I think there's, like, a, a frog wearing glasses. <laughs> right then, let's uh, let's see who is in here. Oh, there's a few people in here. Oh, hello. Hello there, little lady. Good evening. This is Haitino hey Ancient Tech Lab. Do you have some business with the director? That's right. The director is in the back. A terribly busy person, that one. Please try to keep it brief, okay? Yeah. Good evening. I imagine you've never seen so many books in one place. Pretty incredible, isn't it? We have gathered all of Hyrule's known literature on ancient civilization here. As for the actual number of books, well, um, is that, is that thing on your, on your waist? Is it a, a Sheikah? There's no mistake in it. That's a real Sheikah slate, isn't it? I've never actually seen one in person. If you could just show me the runes on it, I would be most appreciative. Stasis. Ah, Magnesis. Yes, yes. The remote bomb and the cryonis. 
Ah, and what else? Let me see. So, that's it for runes, but, um, strange. It doesn't seem like you have the basic runes. I don't understand why they're missing. There must be some reason. Ah, where are my manners? I nearly forgot to introduce myself. My name is Simon. You are Link, right? You know my name. Lady Impa caught me up to speed. You see, we were told a young man holding a Sheikah slate will appear, and you must do all you can to help him. He will be the hope that awakens the slumber of the restoration. His name will be Link. Oh dear, I forgot to tell you something very important. Director, listen, Miss Director, this is a real Sheikah slate. Director! Oh, that's right. I haven't introduced our director. Oh. Miss Pura happens to be right over there. As the Hatino Ancient Tech Lab director, Miss Pura is the world's foremost authority on ancient Hyrule culture. Check it! I have the utmost respect for Miss Pura, and all she has accomplished, I am honored to be her assistant. Oh, and on that note, Link, you see the director may look like a young girl, but, well, maybe it's not my place to be telling you these things. You shouldn't, you should talk to Miss Pura herself. <laughs> okay, so, she does, well, she kind of looks almost like a little old lady, or she looks like, kind of like a mix between a girl and an old lady, I guess. <laughs> hey, hey, are you surprised? The director of this laboratory is not Simin, it's me! <laughs> Snippity snap! <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Linky, do you remember any dreams from your time in the Slumber of Restoration? You don't look like you've changed a bit since in the last 100 years, but something must have happened in all of that time. Well, no matter, I'm just happy you're still in one place. Linky, what's with that look? Do you still remember me, right? Um, I don't remember. Really? Well, I'm shocked. I don't know if I'll ever be able to recover from this. Even though, a hundred years ago, I took you to the Shrine of Resurrection after Calamity Ganon fatally wounded you. Even though I was the only one put you... Even though I was the only one who put you safely into slumber of restoration. Despite all of that, you still don't remember? Um, sorry, I don't remember. Hmm, as expected. After a hundred years in the slumber restoration, subject has lost all memories. Noted. Oh, sorry! <laughs> I have a bad habit of taking notes rather abruptly like that. It's a charming quirk, isn't it? Anywho, do you have any questions for me? Aren't um, you a child? <laughs> How very rude! Hmm, or perhaps it's not rude at all. I suppose that's actually a rather logical conclusion to jump to. The truth is, I look this way because of a failed experiment. Well, I say failed, but in some ways it was a success. I documented the full affair of my diary upstairs, but the whole thing is embarrassing, so I insist you refrain from reading it. Anyway, enough about that, back to the topic at hand. Here you are, after 100 years, here to defeat Calamity Ganon, who has grown in strength with every passing moment, and to rescue our beloved Princess Zelda! That is if you've got the courage to try, and to help the one true hero, I, the one and only Pura, will restore the basic functions missing from the Sheikah Slate! And what do you say to that? Um, yes, yes please! <laughs> <laughs> I knew you would say that. All right then. First, I need to you to run an errand for me. What's with that look on your face? You didn't think I'd fix your Sheikah slate for free, did you? <laughs> uh, no, I did not. Hmm, you're pretty considerate for a young person. But then, I suppose that's because you're actually over a hundred years old. <laughs> Let me explain what this errand entails. You know that until furnish on you know the unlit furnace on the wall just outside this laboratory, could you please bring the blue flame from the ancient furnace? Aha! Uh -huh, into town. Oh, and also use it to light our furnace. This sweet guardian stone will start working once you've done that and allow us to restore the missing runes. Ha, huh, I wonder if the young women these days still say things like sweet and little. Ah, well, I suppose it doesn't matter anyway. Okay then, I'm counting on you for that blue flame. Aha, so, I feel good. I feel good that I hadn't spent the, um, <laughs> the last ten minutes or so wasting my time and trying to, um... Yeah, trying to, to get the uh, the flame up here, and it being for no reason. 
I'm glad to, to know it is actually for a good reason. So that seems to be the thing I need to, to light. But I've got to go read her diary first, don't I? I have to read her diary. Oh, don't look at me like that. Don't judge me. You all want me to read it as well, don't you? Well, if you don't want me to read her diary, you can all look away from the screen now and turn the sound off and then you won't hear what's in her diary and you'll feel all honourable and feel like you did the right thing. But I got to know. I got to read her diary, don't I? We got to find out what happened with her experiment. Right. Research diary for anti-aging rune classified for your purest eyes only. First page. Date? Question mark. Work has finally begun on my anti-aging rune. If it all goes to plan, I believe it will effectively reverse the aging process. This technology will enable us to make retired warriors young again, thereby strengthening the Hyrulean army. When Calamity Ganon inevitably returns, we will be ready. Our offense will be solid and our defense will be impenetrable. We need this for tech. Uh, we need for this tech pains me but i truly hope uh, to use it in use it to attain everlasting peace for all uh, right, next one. The beta version of my anti agent rune is complete. I've already added it to the Sheikah slate I made for myself. Since I am to be the test subject of this experiment, uh, Simon booted up the rune and directed its rays on my body. After 20 seconds of exposure, I felt extreme fatigue and broke into a fever, forcing us to cease the experiment. Unable to stay awake, I went to bed immediately. Tomorrow I will try and figure out what went away. Uh, anti agent experiment trial 2. My extreme full body fatigue has slightly improved, for which I am grateful. Still, I do not recognise my the, the face in the mirror. The hair is thick again and floor length. My wrinkles once deep as trenches have vanished without a trace. It seems the anti-aging effect works. However, I did not expect the reversal to happen so frighteningly fast. This morning I kicked Simon awake and he and had him run a full physical exam on me. My height, weight, vision, bone density, heart, blood, we tested everything we could think, pushing our facility to its limits. Our discoveries were startling. My results were typical of a Sheikah woman in her early 50s. In other words, I, reser I reversed my age uh, more than 70 years in a single night. So she's 120 while she's doing all of this. I can only hope I don't wake to find I have the body of a newborn baby. Right, day three. I awoke with an abundance of energy. It has been decades since I slept so well. Upon waking, I immediately checked the mirror only to be greeted by a youthful version of myself. According to Simmons' examination, I have the body of a Sheikah woman in her 30s. 30 year old. I was around that age when I was first able to continue my research following the Great Calamity. The first thing I did was try to figure out how to expand the functionality of the Sheikah sensor. I was, I was around 80 years old when that uh, expansion was completed. I intended to uh, bequeath this tech to our sleeping hero. I hope to the gods that he will be able to assist in the destruction of Calamity uh, that swallowed our Princess Zelda whole. Anti-aging experiment, day four. Feel free to just to skip this section if you don't want to, to hear it, but I'm finding it quite interesting. After today's routine physical, the results show that I have the body of a Sheikah woman in her 20s. I haven't felt this good in a century. This has all taken me back to when the Great Calamity happened. Ganon had been dormant for 10,000 years. Perhaps his power had been building all of that time. The slaughter that followed was abrupt and merciless and the destruction complete we lost everything hyrule castle princess zelda well perhaps not everything was lost a youth named link was brought to me a hundred years ago covered in wounds and on death's doorstep link so young yet so courageous he was the youngest knight to have ever been appointed to the imperial guard at hyrule castle he was also a gifted swordsman who was selected as captain of Princess Zelda's personal guard. I thought his skills would be enough to defeat Ganon in gl glorious fashion. Since ancient times, the royal family of Hyrule and us Sheikah researchers have had, the, had a strong bond. Their pain is ours. We took the swordsman and the Sheikah slate Princess Zelda left behind to the Shrine of Resurrection. Although the slumber of restoration had not been fully tested, we decided to put the swordsman under to save his life. It was the best we could do. Anti-aging experiment day five. I awoke to something horrifying, a scarlet lump scarring my otherwise youthful full face. After analysing this monstrosity, I have come to the conclusion that it's just a pimple. A big one. The result of today's physical exam indicate my body and the mind have been reverted to those of a teenager. I feel like Simon looks at me differently, which irritates me. I got angry when he insisted on running my blood test for me. I mean, really? What even? I can do it all by myself. In any case, I wonder what experiment I should focus on next. The blue flame in the furnace outside is growing weaker by the day. I hope the Guardian Stone doesn't stop working 
Uh, this is day six. My age reversal has progressed further still. I now look and feel like a six-year-old. My height has regressed so much that I can no longer reach things in high places. It's super annoying. Where is that genius swordsman we placed in the slumber of resurrection anyway? Wake up already. If he doesn't awake soon, my fe future expansions for the Sheikah sensor will go to waste. But even if he does manage to wake up, how can I be sure he'll find me here? I want to go and just kick Linky awake, but I doubt uh, Simon would help me. I'll, it'll be hard with my six-year-old body anyway. Instead, I think I'll begin working on a rune to unreverse my aging pro uh, process. Uh, this is day seven. This morning's exam results indicated that I'm still age six. Same as yesterday, perhaps my age reversal has stopped. Uh, as luck would have it, today I also finished developing the beta version of an age-boosting rune. If successful, this should be able to reverse the effects of the anti-aging rune. I hope it will anyway. All I need to do is increase the output and expose myself to its rays. However, when I tried to add this feature to the Sheikah Slate I made, I found that the Guardian Stone had stopped. What's more, the blue flame in the furnace outside has gone out. I sent Simon to the ancient furnace, but he was far too clumsy and it was raining and nothing went to plan. So I had to go down here to help, but a girl I had to go down there to help, but a girl in the village saw me. What a mess I've made. Not only am I unable to continue my research in this state, I can only work by the light of gas lamps. What to, to do? So, well, that was a, a little bit longer than I first thought it was, it was going to, to be, but that kind of explains why she is young, even though she's technically over 120 <laughs> and also why they they want me to to go and uh, and get the the flame so let's uh, let's go and do that then so it's still raining but it's going to to stop raining and uh, and become sunny any second now uh, so let's uh, go and grab some of these apples while we're here can i grab the other one grab the apple okay we'll let that one be <laughs> shall i shall i surf down here i want to do it i want to do it i have hardly done any stuff oh, no, no, put that away i need to get the the shield out and then it's jump and then this. Oh, how do I? Oh, so I do that and then jump and then do this. There we go. Look at this. Woo! Oh, that is amazing. This is so much fun. And then you could, I think you could do tricks as well, can't you? Look at that. I can do tricks. And oh no, my shield broke. <laughs> I knew that was going to, to happen at some point. And what's going on with these trees here? There's like a little circle of trees and I, I smell Korok seeds around here. Do you reckon there's a Korok seed around here? I don't know, whenever there's like anything unusual, there's normally Korok seeds, but I don't know, it's not, it's just probably not particularly unusual, just a, a little circle of, a, of trees that are around here with a, a load of apples on. Although, if I want to get some apples, I know the, the best place to, to come and get a load of apples from, and apples are great because you can pretty much add them to, to any other like recipes you're, you're making. And they just they just make it better basically. So even though they're not amazing by them themselves, they are still very very useful. So getting a big supply of uh, of apples uh, is really good. Right then, so let's let's go down to the the last torch that I have still lit. So I think it was this path down to the the right, wasn't it? So that one's not lit there. Hopefully all of the the other ones that are I've lit have stayed lit. There we go. So it looks like all of these ones have stayed lit. So this is good. All of that time, I was spending time lighting these, thinking, am I wasting my time completely? <laughs> it looks like I wasn't. And the, the rain is just about to, to stop now anyway. So let's go and grab the um, the the torch like this. I know I always go to the menu, don't I? I should probably just uh, switch them like the, the quick way a little bit more. But uh, let's go and head up here. So I don't think I needed to, to light all of them. Like, I can't see why. I guess this is just in case one of them accidentally went out. I could then go and use it uh, again. And oh, it's becoming nighttime. I didn't even see what the, the time was. Uh, it's going to be cool to see it at, at, uh, at nighttime. I haven't really uh, properly been in the, the town once it's been all lit up uh, at night. But yeah, I need to I need to go and bring these to the, the furnace. And then she said she's going to give me some more runes. So I wonder if I'm going to get some some more special powers from her. That's certainly what it, what it sounds like. And I know this video has gone on forever, by the way. But I feel like I've spent half the episode lighting torches torches and then reading the the diary as well so i didn't want to <laughs> to, to end the, the episode early i wonder how many people are still watching right now if you're still watching then thank you for for sticking through the the long diary entry i knew that not everyone would uh, would find it as interesting uh, as i did or maybe you've just skipped ahead and come back to this moment if that's the case hello welcome back right then i think that's the thing i need to to light and oh oh i think i can teleport to here now and Hatino Ancient Tech Lab is now, yes, yeah, now a travel gate. Okay, that's pretty handy. I should probably um, uh, put this out before I go and head inside. Let's just kind of bring the bow out or something. There we go. And uh, right then, let's see if we can uh, we can get our, our new rooms. 
You did it, didn't you? Uh, oh, you read it. Uh, yeah, let's just be, I don't want to lie. Well, I command your honesty. Still, it's never acceptable to rummage through a young lady's private musings. Got it? Naturally, I shall, uh, you shall be punished for that. Uh, switch on. Uh, all Sheikah Slate runes have now been deleted. Oh, what's going on? Don't delete my runes. I completely deleted the data on your Sheikah Slate. Go on, take a look. And she's just like, well, I like, wiped the hard drive. <laughs> oh, she's joking. Gotcha! <laughs> did you like, did you like my Guardian Stone impression? <laughs> Superb, right? Don't young girls do mean impressions for fun? Maybe not. Oh, well. Right, well, I've let your, your thing for you. <gasps> Snap! Linky, thank you so much! Now then, let's take a look over there. The Guidance Stone must be starting to react. There's nothing mysterious about it. It's just pure science. <laughs> My sweet little Guidance Stone. You sure know how to make this old researcher's heart flutter. Well then, let's go ahead and restore your Sheikah Slate runes for you. Give it a nice snap. Go on, no time to be shy about it. <laughs> snap! <gasps> nice one! <laughs> okay, Sheikah Slate repair underway! Guidance stone lock removed. Now, let's do this thing. <laughs> right then, let's uh, let's unlock some uh, some more runes then. I'm still not entirely sure what this is actually going to, to be doing for me, but... Ooh! Camera! Hyrule uh, Compendium and Album Missing Files Confirmed. Starting repair! I think I'm going to get myself a camera! I love the way the Sheikah Slate is basically just a tablet. You know, it's got Google Maps on there, it's got a camera, I can take some selfies. Basically Google Maps with special powers. <laughs> Right then, I got myself a... Uh, I guess it's the, the final rune then. Instantly render a visible image into a picture. Sounds pretty self-explanatory at all. What are these pictures? Are these ones that I took before... Before I fell asleep? Okay. It looks like I need to, to kind of fill in... All of those different things. Like take pictures of different creatures and things. Very interesting. Uh, right then, let's uh, let's speak to her and see what I should do next. <laughs> and it's done. So it's all fixed, all up right now. Hmm. Let's see. Here. Which one is it? Oh. Camera. High raw compendium album. Yep. All looks good. So I know it's a bit sudden, but I hear. But hear me out. <laughs> Take a picture of me with the camera. Oh, and don't forget to let me see it. Uh, okay. Let's take a picture of the the camera. Uh, let's go and line this, frame this up nicely, and capture! There we go, that looks beautiful. Let's go and save that, my first picture with my new camera. And oh! <laughs> I can take selfies! And I can do like different poses as well. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's go and, uh, let's back out of this and let's go and, uh, and talk to her and show her her picture. Hey! How's that picture taking going? Did you get a cute pic of me with the camera? Uh, yep, I did. Oh, I can't wait to see it. Let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. <laughs> hmm. My, who is this beautiful young creature? <laughs> huh? Oh, I guess that's my cue. Sorry, I kind of lost it there. It wasn't on purpose. Hmm. And it's just not a pretty girl in these images. Yes, there are also some old landscape photos I stored in the album. I knew Princess Zelda had more frequent use of the camera feature, but this... Hey, Linky, it draws on me that you were Princess Zelda's appointed knight, which means there's a strong possibility that you were qua uh, accompanied her to all of those places where these pictures were taken. All oh, right, the lost memory thing could prove troublesome. But don't, but don't lose help. Uh, hope. It doesn't mean these pictures could be the missing piece to help restore your lost memories. If my hunch is correct, I suggest you check in with Impa. She knows more about Princess Zelda than I ever do. Oh, yes. And there's just one more thing I need from you. You don't have to worry about all this until after you see Impa. But I want you to bring me back some ancient materials. Bring them to me or Robbie at the Akala Ancient Tech Lab. <laughs> As if my joy wasn't enough, if you bring us ancient materials, we give you something good as a reward. Alright, let's do this. 
So can I can I give ancient materials now then? Um, okay, so it looks like I can't do that until I go and speak to, to Impa again. So I can take pictures now. I go around and start taking taking selfies. Let's uh let's go and try and take a um a nice picture uh, with the 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 nighttime uh town down below me. Let's uh. Let's maybe go and stand on top of one of these windmills. Hopefully I'm going to be uh, able to, to paraglide far enough to, to land on the roof here. Yep, no problems whatsoever. You can paraglide so far, can't you? Well, right, let's drop and paraglide and drop and perfect. Right, let's uh, let's take a selfie then. Oh, no, I need to get right on the top and I need to, to time it for when the the blades aren't kind of blocking the, the entire thing. And then I kind of, how do I like turn myself? Oh, Nope, didn't mean to, to take that one. I might do it like down a little bit lower actually. Let's um uh, back out of uh, of this and let's kind of go through here and maybe take it from here, maybe? Yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> right, uh, take a, a picture time. So go to, to self, oh no, keep pressing the wrong buttons. There we go. Go to self portrait mode and what pose shall we do? Could it do that? I could do it like as if like, look, I'm holding the, uh, holding a tiny tower. <laughs> I could be thinking, I could be looking. Let's do the, the pointing one, shall we? <laughs> there we go. Here is my first selfie and capture and say, there we go. Not a, uh, not a particularly useful picture, uh, but one under the lesser. These are all the ones I've taken. And then these are the, all the, the ones that I may have taken with Zelda. Mm, oh, I recognize some of these places, actually, uh, I think. So, uh, yeah, I think I'm going to be building my, my own little collection uh, of pictures uh, as we uh, go and make our way through the, the game. But anyway, i got to end this episode. I've been going on all day. I'm going to lose my voice here if I carry on recording anymore. <laughs> so, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this super-duper extra special long episode, uh, yeah, of uh, Zelda Breath of the Wild. Uh, the next episode will be probably back down to a, a more normal, manageable length, but it's fun to, to do these extra long episodes every now and then. So, yeah, expect a few of them more in the, the future uh, when I'm just kind of exploring the, the land and doing shrines and stuff. Uh, it's nice to, to record for a little bit longer. But anyway, that is finally the end of this episode here. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all later. Bye!